go live. Make sure everything starts. Copy the link. Facebook and Twitter. Alrighty, I think we're live, folks. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to World of Warships Legends with me, Spartan Elite 43. Now, uh, yeah, I know I said recently that I was never going to stream World of Warships Legends again. Uh, but, you know, there are certain occasions where I'm like, yeah, maybe, maybe. So, maybe not completely done streaming the game, but definitely taking a step back from streaming it as regularly as I normally do. But, uh, what up, Chew? How's it going? Listed City? Uh, Dan? Glowmoji? How's it going? Noah? Max? Citadel City? Strain Toast? Shy? What up, guys? Welcome to the stream! So, uh, yeah, this could possibly be the last World of Warships Legend stream that I ever do. You never know. So, let's get right into it. So, obviously, it's tier tier 4 ranked battles. So, uh, we are going to be using our American Oklahoma. Now, it's 3v3s. So, I think I'm going to stick with my normal uh, my normal build with the exception of taking beyond range off and going with emergency specialist. Um, I think that would be a good idea. Will to rebuild, I'm going to leave on just in case there might be an opportunity to use it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, let's, let's get right into it. What up, Atomic? How's it going? Uh, Craig, how's it going? Sky? Hassam? Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, but yeah, let's get right in. First game. Let's go. Can Spartan, the tater. The ultimate tater carry the rest of the taters through ranked? That's the question. It's the one that everybody wanted to know, I'm sure. What up, Battleship? How's it going? Kevin, how's it going? I hope everybody's having a great start to their weekend. Tears of the Cruiser right off the bat. Let's go. Two battleships and a destroyer. We're up against the T-22. We have a Minakazi. We have a New York. They have a Nevada and a New York. This is perfect. Let's go. Let's get this party started, shall we? Still wish they would change it to show, like, uh, the experience level of players. Uh, rather than just, like, their current rank. What up, Ender? How's it going? Jay Trank, what up? Welcome to the stream, my dude. I uh, just got off work, so I'm a little tired, but I need to stay up a little while. I'm going to go uh, go into town or back up to Lancaster here about 11, maybe 12 o'clock, depending on how long it takes me to get through ranked. Um, but I'm going to be going back up to Lancaster, so i got to stay awake. So you guys are stuck with me. What up, Smash? Just started watching me and Aaron. Nice, man. Appreciate you. Really do. Let's 
It's always a good sign when my battleship buddy's running all the way back here. Broadside. Really? Wow. Now that's a great start. That's a great start, isn't it? All right. Let's see if we can catch this freaking Nevada here. We're going to take a big hit in return, but... At this angle, I should be able to go through his bow side plating and potentially kill him. Oh, only one. Turn away. Lower that citadel. Come on, Oklahoma. Get turned. This guy wasn't even looking the right direction. That was <laughs> terrible for him. Great for us. All right, time for you to die, sunshine. Goodbye. Oh, he lives? Of course, I mean, of course he lives. Do we expect anything else? Battleship behind me, a New York shooting freaking HE. That's always a good start. We're angled here pretty well, so I don't think we got to worry about that. Our destroyer's trying to shoot him down with guns. He, he got a couple pins, but he's dead. The fact that our Minikaze is actually shooting this guy with guns is kind of hilarious. Alright, where's your New York? Ah, look at this guy. The good news is T-22 doesn't have any range on his torpedo, so I'm not too worried about him unless he YOLOs me. Torpedoes to port. I say as torpedoes are spotted close by. God, I want to see his ship. So right about there. Oh, that looks tight too. That looks good. Wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be. It's because my shells landed short and long. You gotta love that. That's that's one of my favorite things about this game, when the shells just decide to go everywhere but where you actually aim. Wouldn't want to hit the ship, would we? Wouldn't want to hit the ship. That's crazy talk. Gotta be careful turning towards this guy. He's turning away slightly, but he has not turned away enough. Yeah, there we go. Just blap the crap out of him between me and the torpedoes he just ate. He's having a bad time. So a little known fact uh, that a lot of people just don't know at this tier is every battleship at tier 4 overmatches each other. With the exception of Peter Veliki. It's the only one that has a strong enough bow to withstand. Okay, this guy actually survived, so we're going to shoot one gun at him. And then shoot the rest at this guy. But, uh, yeah. Every ship, or every battleship at tier 4 has uh, a weak enough bow that everybody overmatches each other. Except for the uh, Peter Veliki. Peter Veliki is the only thing that cannot be overmatched when we get into a 1v1 with it. So, I'm pretty confident in my abilities at tier 4 to carry these guys through the, through the tier. And we killed all three. Woo! Off to a great start, boys. Off to a great start. What up, Monty? How's it going? What up, Vinny? How's it going? Appreciate you. Uh, JJ? Trying to make sure I got everybody. Warrior Bismarck in the house. What up, Omar's? Azuma? Playboy? What up, folks? 62,000 damage and three kills. Can I carry my team through ranked? Those are the questions that we ask. And the answer so far is, I think it's going to be okay. 
<laughs> um. Yeah, make sure we're speaking English in chat, guys. I don't have anything against people that speak other languages. It's just distracting for people. Um, this is an English channel, so it just makes sense to speak in English. But uh, I do, and I know you speak English because I, or, or I know you can type in English because I saw you typing in English earlier. So please and thank you. What we got? Omaha Koenig and a Minikaze. Now the Minikaze is kind of scary just because it can launch torpedoes very quickly. But uh, Omaha is a one-shot kill. And the Koenig, I'm not even worried about. So we got this. You're Iranian? Okay, man. Well, I appreciate you. And like I said, I don't have anything against people speaking other languages. It's just when you're in chat, you're on an English channel, try to speak English. That's all. But I do appreciate you. And don't spam either. Enemy force detected. Oh, Omaha. Enemy Omaha! Sit! Hut! <laughs> <laughs> it's a guarantee it's a guarantee like you can't go broadside in omaha to anything let alone a battleship let alone an american battleship at this range like come on gotta do better you gotta do better i ain't even putting a fire out to be honest i'm afraid of taking torpedoes now i'm not spotted so there's that Come on, Acosta. You and me, baby. I'm going to get in here and start capturing these bases. Oh. Shit. Hard to starboard. Hard to starboard. Torpedoes off the starboard bow. Come on, boys. Get him! Get him, secondaries! Torpedoes dead ahead. Torpedoes to port. How did he just disappear? Oh, it's because he's turning out and he's going behind his smoke. Requesting support. Okay, so we just disappeared too. We're not letting this guy get away. If he thinks he's getting away from us, he's got another thing coming. I can deal with the battleship at any point. I can I don't get very many opportunities to get rid of a destroyer this early in the match, so let's get rid of him. At least chase him out of the cap. He's still here. Like I don't know why he's sitting in the cap. I should be spotting him any time. Oh shit. I don't think he was ready, boys. I don't think he was ready. All right, let's deal with this battleship now. Can we get three-piece back-to-back, killing the entire enemy team solo back-to-back? -back? I think we can. Go ahead and put a stop to it. We'll aim right about there. Uh, our Katovsky's about to have a real bad time, it looks like. He's got torpedoes in the water. Koenig is actually not playing terribly, but, uh, he's not gonna have a good time, it doesn't look like. Nice. GG's. Well, we didn't get all three of them. Katovsky played that pretty well. GG's. What up, Harry Killer? How's it going? Anthony, Vinny, Smash, Brandon, Max, uh, Salty, how's it going? What up, Cheap? Trying to make sure I get everybody. Jackson? 
Hope everybody's having a great morning. Anthony Smith, how's it going? All right, we got two of the three again. Top of the team. Katowski's actually experienced. Yeah, you can tell. These guys don't have any experience. Yo! Tube Spanner coming in with a 50-pound bomb right off the bat. We love your content. Keep sinking them taters. How come you don't have a sponsor yet? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by sponsors, but uh, thank you very much, Tube Spanner. Holy crap, coming in with a $50 bomb to start the stream. Thank you so much. For reals. What up, X Assassin, Jake, Brandon, Jonah, Alex? We love your content. Keep sinking them, taters. Smiley face. How come you don't um, have a sponsor yet? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really do a whole lot of sponsors because I just don't. I don't trust anybody. Like especially after I had my account hacked recently because I thought I was I was doing a uh, potential collaboration video with a uh, uh, video game developer and found out that it, uh, the hard way that it was not. It was a virus and it it hacked my account. So almost lost my channel. So I'm a little bit uh, you know disenfranchised with with starting with with people you know we'll reach out to you interesting well i appreciate the dono man i really do um i mean shoot me an email on my uh, gmail account it should be just all lowercase spartan elite 43 at gmail.com and uh I'll, I'll that's where i do my business through and i'll i'll get back with you there but i appreciate you Uh, I, I don't have plans to play anything after the ranked, guys. I'm going to be real honest with you. Because uh, I just I don't want the stream to go forever. Um, I do have plans for today. But uh, I wanted to knock out the ranked peak. I couldn't get peak to join me during the week. I tried to get peak Thursday and yesterday. He didn't wake up or he's just not answering his, his phone. So I was like, okay, clearly he doesn't want to go. So, uh, yeah, I know he's fishing on the weekends. So we don't have him there. Well, that's a brave Krasny Krim. All right, Krispy Kreme. That looked like it hurt. Uh, what's their DD? Minikaze again. Okay. Not worried about the Julio. Julio gives me a broadside he dies. So I'm not scared there. Not scared of a Krispy Kreme. The Minikaze again. It doesn't have any hit points, so we should be able to, to deal with that. Oh, yeah, you could definitely solo ranked easy in, in Destroyers. Because you don't have to be very good in a Destroyer to, to take over a game. But, uh, personally, I just like playing Battleships. So, I like the challenge. Putting ourselves out here. We're going to go ahead and change course because I'm anticipating torpedoes. Got to be careful, though. I know that this uh, Julio Cesare is here. Dang, I overestimated how fast he was going. By a lot. Oh, uh, that's not good. Also, Krispy Kreme could be yellowing me off of this island any moment. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna eat those. We're hold below the water line. We're flooding quickly. Problem solved, sir. Get him! Enemy destroyer That's my favorite kind of kill on a destroyer. Okay, destroyer's down, so as long as I... Why are my front guns not turning? Let's go. Get the freaking guns going back to the other side.
Next shot's gonna be on the cra the Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna shoot him and try to ram the Julio, even though I don't need to ram him. Probably going for the ram here. Shit. So much for that idea. Double shit. I didn't kill him. If I don't get dev struck here, I'll be happy. Come on, secondaries, do your job. God dang it, man. First loss. Ha! We needed to kill that freaking that that damn Krispy Kreme in that shot. Needed to. Didn't have a choice. Yeah, these these two played like dummies, both of them. They both just threw their ships away. Didn't do anything useful. So, that's unfortunate. But it's going to happen. On to the next one. Yo, Aaron coming in with the $5. Good luck, man, for ranked and other challenge. Always grinding. Absolutely, my dude. Absolutely. I mean, I've already lost 10 pounds in the three days since I started, so we're, we're off to a good start. Now, obviously, not none of that is probably fat. That's just straight, like, water weight and waste. So once we get past that and start actually losing, then we'll be golden. Haven't actually weighed in yet this morning, so... Haven't checked. Used to hate PvP until watching my channel. Well, I appreciate that, man. I'm glad I could be of some assistance. I've never claimed to be the best player. Like A lot of people will bring that up. They'll be like, well, Spartan, you're not that great at the game. And I was like, I've never actually claimed to be great at the game. I've always said I'm above average. But uh, I just enjoy it. And I know the basics. I know what I'm doing. Um, probably could have paid, played that one a little bit more passively there. Probably could have won that. Um, but, I mean, it's hard It's it's hard to anticipate your team throwing their ships away right as you decide to push in. Like, I know I can kill the Julio in a 1v1. And I know that I should have gotten rid of that Krispy Kreme, but for whatever it, reason, it survived two shots. Which is kind of ridiculous. Not used to that. Not used to it. But we, we got this. Alright, Nevada spotted coming in. Don't have a very good shot at him. Oh, so it's two battleships. I wasn't paying attention. Alright, so we have Cavour and a Nevada. Okay. So we want to shoot about there. Look at that. Right through the bow. Alright, we're going to start turning away. It should lower our citadel, make us harder to hit in terms of uh, massive damage. And then we will... Uh... Shit. I can't fucking ping him because the game's stupid mechanic. Hello, Kavor. I got one. Is he gonna eat torps? Nice. Yeah, that should be Kavor dead. Or not. True Spartan fashion. I gotta leave him alive. Every time. Here's where we gotta be careful. If I'm turning in, I'm raising my citadel, making it easier for them to kill me. Kamikaze actually just killed the, uh... Ooh, I forgot about that. There are Kamikazes that are gonna be available. Okay, Kavor should be dead. I forgot, he's, he's he's a German battleship. He can't hit shit. I'll finish him. I lied. I can't finish him either. <laughs> Come, there you got the hit. All right, that's GG. I'm going to go turn back and go after this destroyer, which is a Jaguar. Jaguar! Okay. 
Come here, baby. Show yourself. I will make it quick, I promise. Ooh. Are you out there? Okay. Well, we'll just set ourselves on course to go for the cap. He just disappeared. Ah! He went he's running from me. Look at him. He's scared. Can't blame him. I'd run from me too. Spartan, you don't have HE loaded. It's just a bat or it's just a destroyer. You son of a bitch! I didn't see that coming. Well played. Ouch! That actually hurt a lot too. Taking on water quickly. Problem solved, sir. Let him too much. What is he doing? Like three quarter throttle or something? I think we all got a kill there. The Connick got a kill, I got a kill, and the uh, the Kamikaze got a kill. So, well done there for everybody. On to the next one. Yeah, Massachusetts is a good one, monkey. What up, China? Hope you're having a better day today. Cyber, how's it going? Gamer? British Ninja in the chat. Craig, appreciate you. Uh, I am apo I'm gonna apologize to you because I don't know your name. Uh, Legendary, re-upping his membership for two months. Appreciate you, my dude. What are we up against? Conig, Texas, and an Ohotnik. Okay. The uh, murder sausage, or the murder canoe, or whatever you want to ro roll with it. Uh, Life siphon. How's it going? Tweedledoe, I see you. Mr. Simple. Ex-Assassin, hope you're having a great day, too. I think I've got everybody caught up, finally. Elijah. James. Ray Gun. Malaki. Or uh, Malachi. I'm not sure which which way it would be pronounced, but... Uh, M. Noger. Hope everybody's having a great day start to their weekend okay there's a third of his health gone I don't remember what the range is on the torps of the Ohotnik but I know he's got freaking 12 torpedoes so we gotta be careful there I'm cutting across the bow of this other battleship because I gotta, like, get myself angled here. Returning to ship. There we go. That's what we love to see. Alright, now the good thing is the Ohotnik is not exactly known for being sneaky. Bad thing is, our destroyer smoked up. He's 7.3. The Texas came back. That I wasn't expecting. Screw you, Texas!
Nice. That's huge. It's actually huge. And I've got the Texas dead to rights. No way he survives this next salvo. Alright. Now let's go finish this Ohotnik. Intelligence data. Just give me a look at him. There we go. Holy crap, you guys just blasted me again oh no he lives there we go all right legendary coming in with the 10 euro dono thank you so much Hey Spartan, how come hey Spartan, Peak is not how joining Peak you on this rank? I hope you're good from everything that you go through. I hope you're good from everything that you go through your life at the moment. Wish I follow you and see all. Wish you the best you healthy legendary. life deserved. Uh, Peak is actually fishing on the weekends. It's the uh, spring and summer time that he does his fishing tournaments and stuff. So on the weekends he's gone. Um, but I tried to get with him Thursday and Friday, and I don't know if he just fell asleep or what. But I couldn't get get it. I couldn't get together with him. So, uh, I just decided, I know he's going to be gone all weekend at the lake, so I just jump on and do it solo. The old-fashioned way. Yo, Beastex coming in with his, uh, re-up for seven months. Thank you so much. Putting the caboose, welcome to the Spartians, new newest member on the channel. Y'all are spamming me. It's hard to keep up. What up, hell? How's it going? Uh, full potato. Joey, how's it going? Uh... DNB Weirdo. How's it going? Mo, uh, Mohamedi. I hope I said that right, but uh, appreciate you. All right, on to the next one. Let's go. Keep the trainer rolling, baby. I'm an ogre. Ah, I'm an ogre. Gotcha. I see it now. Thanks, Jones. What's British Ninja doing? What did, what did I see? British Ninja. I'm not streaming like like I used to. I'm just going to like special occasions. I might jump on and stream, but I'm not just I'm just not going to do it as regularly as I was because it, it gets to a point where I just don't enjoy it. And if I don't enjoy it, then you guys don't enjoy it. And that's no good for anybody. I think the, the streams are much better when I do them less frequently and I'm a lot more, uh, I don't know, healthy spirited would be a good way to put it. Julio Cesare, Nevada, and a Farragut. So I'm not scared of a Farragut. But uh, Julio Cesare and... Uh... Enemy force sighted on the horizon. Come on, baby. What up, Actimal? Okay, I don't have a shot at the destroyer, so I'll keep shooting the Nevada. That was a crappy salvo. 
Armatsuki's toast. I don't know why he's going right after that guy. He's gonna get himself murdered. There you go. Shoot my belt, baby. Shoot the belt. I'll exploit his, his freaking bow armor. And down goes our destroyer. Did he get torpedoes off? Of course not. Ouch. Come on, bow side plating. Wasn't as good as I was hoping for. Come on, battleship. Oh, shit. It's gonna run into that island. Come on, battleship. Get involved in the fight, dude. Could really use something. If I get a decent salvo here, I can probably kill this guy with one shot. Or not. Not is always an option. Dude, I need this other battleship to actually do something useful, man. Hiding behind that island. Like, he's full health, man. short stop that please game how do they all fall short how does every one of those rounds fall short that was such a good salvo and of course the dummy just rams he's just fucking useless god i hate that shit like he's broadside to me i take the shot and they all fall short because reasons right and then this fucking idiot saves all of his hit points and what's he do he goes out and he rams somebody like a complete fucking potato why even play if that's your entire goal? You stay in the back, you don't do any damage, and then you ram somebody. You, you did so much to help the fucking team. If you would move forward and maybe stuck with me, we'd fucking win that match. But no, that'd be crazy talk. Why would you do that? When you can just hide in the back and hope that I can kill everybody. God, stupid people are annoying. What up, Toxicity? How's it going? Alex? Oh yeah, it's always it's always assault ration, man. That's not gonna change. A legendary coming in with a two euro peak learning to fish like all the taters there. I mean, dude fishes pretty well, I think. I mean he does tournaments. He does tournaments, so I would assume he knows what he's doing. I mean he's got a fishing channel too now. So uh Make sure you go to his channel. I believe if you go to his channel and then go to the section called channels, I think he's got it linked in there, so you can check that out if you're interested. Personally, I'm not much of a fisher. Grew up in the middle of nowhere. Did a lot of fishing. Not a real big fan of it. It's fun for a few minutes. Yo, China coming back in with a 20-pound dono. Happy Saturday, Legend S. Appreciate you always, China and Jackie. Thank Happy you so Saturday, much, Happy Saturday, Legend S. Appreciate you. you. Heart, always Shina and Jacka. Enemy force detected. Okay, there's Nevada. Yeah, that's the best part of my channel, guys. Like, I've always said this. Like, the best part of YouTube is interacting with so many people from all across the world like I'd never get a chance to interact with people the way I do on my channel anywhere else hey look it's another old hotnik if I 
I could get more than three shells to hit the destroyer, it'd be nice. What do we got? Farragut. Nice. This guy's outrunning his smoke screen. So that's always preferable. He is gonna disappear in a second. Getting HE spammed. As fast as he's going, he's coming out from behind that island again. Like, he's gotta be. I say that, and he's not popped up yet. I can't believe that that guy was able to disappear and not get spotted when he came around that island. my god if I could just finish the fucking kill if I could ever just finish somebody oh shit this guy decided to reverse sorry buddy and I don't have and I get hit with one shell and set on fire for the memes the ship is on fire. here come 12 torpedoes from four kilometers uh-huh that's one God, fuck me. He got him off. Fuck! I thought with the first set that I was gonna dodge, but no. He fucking shit out four more sets. Surely our Nevada and our fucking Farragut can finish the guy. I mean, come on. Like, that's so frustrating. I knew they were there, but I didn't want to go broadside to the fucking guy on my right, even though I knew he was shooting HE. I should have just fucking went broadside to him. Should have just went fucking broadside to the battleship to fucking dodge the torps. Damn it, man. Gotta fucking trust your gut. Try Omaha? No thanks. Uh, Mohammed coming in with uh, two euros. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, but not enough. It's never enough. I never fucking finish anything. I, I leave them with just enough every fucking time. Every time. It's a meme. All right, what else? Uh... Could go with Peter Veliki, but I don't really want to. Let's see. We go Texas or New York, guys. I feel like I do better in, in New York, but let me grab Texas. We'll grab Texas. Make sure it's got a thing. Uh, could you, well, Harry, can you play the Texas? Yeah, let's play the, play the Texas. Take the Comet? Yeah, Kamikaze is cheat mode, man. It, it literally is cheat mode. Like, if you, if you can't win in a Kamikaze at tier 4, you should probably just not play Destroyers. It's just not your thing, clearly. Alright, two Destroyers and a Battleship, we're up against the Kavor. So, yeah, that's not scary at all. Miss the streams, Carl? Yeah, I appreciate that. I try to stream, but like I said, I can't do it every week. Every I, I get into a fucking um, pattern of just absolutely hating the streams. And I don't want to be that way. I, I don't want to get to the point where I just don't enjoy doing something. You know what I mean? I, I love this game. As frustrating as it is, I love this game. And uh, yeah, I just... I don't want to get to that point. Oh, it's worse than a Udachi. Pound for pound, the Kamikaze is the most broken ship in the game. And it's not even close. What up, Zarku?
I mean, you say that, Zarkoon, but at the engagement distances that you're in, like, you could easily YOLO rush a gunboat destroyer and kill it with a kamikaze and then finish everybody else. Like, it's... Kamikaze's broken. I do understand that a gunboat destroyer, especially Farragut at Tier 4, is ex incredibly strong. Um, it's got good torpedoes, even though they're not the longest range. It's got great guns and uh, easily takes care of cruisers. Like, I citadel the crap out of cruisers with a... But... How? How do you how do you justify that, Wargaming? How do you justify six overpins on a freaking cruiser at four kilometers that do no damage basically? I'd have been better spitting at him. Well that's not gonna end well for him. Oh look, his torpedoes. Good. So we lost a we lost a cruiser. They lost a cruiser. Their Kavor is being a little bitch, so that's that's nice. Katovsky, I just need you to get back. Get back. I can take care of the rest of these guys, he says as he gets yellow rushed and torped by the uh, Konigsberg and can't one shot him like he should be able to. What up, PRG? Hope you're doing well over in Puerto Rico. This guy literally just staying behind the island avoiding me. I feel like he is. Mm-hmm. He's in range and he totally dropped torps. So we're just going to uh, turn in and avoid that. That guy 100% just dropped torps on the backside of that island. And our Katovsky can't do what he's supposed to do and just disengage, but maybe he'll kill the Konigsberg. Well, yeah, he got the Konigsberg. So it's just me versus this battleship. This battleship Austin powers himself. I don't actually need to engage here, but I don't want to. Cruisers are a terrible choice because the maps are so small, because you're going to run into battleships so often. I mean, you've got you've got to play perfectly in a cruiser or you die. It is that simple. Even if he rams me here, we still win on points, so I don't care how this goes. Oh, uh, did you beach again, Sunshine? That's unfortunate. Aim high because he has an icebreaker. And we still managed to hit the belt. That's not preferable. So where knowing your ships comes in handy. Like, you're not going to citadel me here, bud. You're just not. But we know he has an icebreaker, so we got to aim high. And we're hitting the fucking... I'm literally trying to aim at the top, and they're all going down into the armor. I know where I need to aim, and the game is just like, no, we're going to make you keep hitting his belt. Here, let's aim at his gun. There we go. That's a little bit of damage. Still not getting what we're needing. Like, I need to go through that bow. Like, I need it to hit right here.
I could just switch to HE and end that crit. That's what I'm going to do. Now, he does overmatch my butt, but he shoots at my superstructure, which is fine. Um, but yeah. Since the guns, or since the game's not going to let me pin his bow like I should be able to, I know he's got an icebreaker, but I know that I should be able to shoot through that upper plate, like right here, where you see the, the very tip of his bow meeting his dick. But, uh, switching to HE, my ship doesn't care about that anymore. So, uh, we'll get the fire. That really didn't do as much damage as I'd hoped. And there you see him shooting my belt and ricocheting. He put out a single fire. Be nice if my secondaries had set a fire here. Be nice if I had secondaries firing their guns. I'm going to probably shoot high here and see if I can't get a multi-fire. We got a one. That's a bow fire. Damn. Couldn't quite get to the second. We're winning on points. I don't care what he wants to do here. It's, it's him throwing the game for his team. I'm angled pretty well, so if he shoots the belt... He's not going to get through. His best play would be to shoot me right in the ass. You can hear him just shattering off the belt. I'm glad I got a chance to do this. Thank you for everything this last week. Rank out and get this done. Got another fire on him. We're at 900 points. He put that out. I've got to be careful here. I, I'm going to... Yeah. Stop turning in. Holy shit. It's enough of that shit. And of course, I don't have AP loaded, so... It's unfortunate. No chance. Damn. Damn, man. That thing is so fucking tanky. I'm gonna have to relook at its bow armor. Like, I should be able to go through his bow. Like, well played by him. Again, I should have never have fucking kept fighting him, I guess. I should have just stayed on the border and stayed angled rather than giving him that last shot. But let's let's check take a look at that thing. Uh what the hell was it? Cavor, right? Now I'm f i am know that it's got an icebreaker, right? Yeah, it's actually a lot smaller plate than I was, but I was right. Like, I'm I'm aiming at the right place. You can see where the thinner armor is. But yeah, that's a major icebreaker. So, yeah. Kavor, actually pretty good. So, uh, well done to him. And uh, unfortunate for us, not being able to get rid of him. And then dying with the points lead. That guy should have lost that match. Like, he didn't play it right. But uh, apparently... I didn't either. I should have should have just never taken the fight, I guess. But uh, that goes to show you that I just don't like the Texas near as much as the Oklahoma. Oklahoma, much more accurate because it's got those Arizona guns, which are 50 caliber guns. Yeah, I, I should have rammed them. Again, I like the fights, guys. Like, I don't like to take the cheap wins. Like, I just don't. Like, I would much rather go down swinging than, than to take the easy fucking way out. You know what I mean? Sure, that's going to lose me some fights from now, or once in a while, but it's a lot more fun for me to actually get out there and fight people. We got Peter Veliki, Congo, and a Konig. Okay. Yep, we're live, Sean. What up, kids? How's it going? Shady Ninja. Whoa, holy shit. I am so sorry. I did not see that. Jankonomics or Yonkonomics. I'm not, I, I know I, I've heard it said both ways. But uh, thank you for the $100 bomb, dude. I'm glad I got a chance to do this. Thank you for everything this last week. Rank out and get this done. Absolutely, my dude. But thank you so much, dude. That's crazy. Also, glad to see you woke up. <laughs> uh, 
I heard you uh, pulled a let him peek and fell asleep, except he he managed to turn his stream off before he fell asleep on me. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty, pretty funny. Okay, we get one. Oh my. What is this? Why are you guys stopping? You're gonna get me fucking killed. Get moving. Holy shit, I'm dead. If I survived this, I would be impressed. Like, these fucking idiots are just sitting here stopped. Like, who does that? Oh my god. Got another one. I left him alive, of course. Yeah, who does that? Like, both of these guys just stopped. That Kavor lost all of his health because of that shit. Pay attention to what you guys are doing, man. You can't just stop broadside to three fucking battleships and expect to fucking survive. That's terrible. And they got a fucking cap out of it, too. Which means they have the points lead. Which is really not preferable. It wasn't that I was ignoring it, I just didn't see it. Okay, where's the Peter Veliki at? This is gonna hurt. And they gave him a fucking citadel, of course they did. Oh my god, I'm in trouble. All right, if I ram the conic here, I can maybe take one of these guys with me. Dang it, he's gonna slip past me too. Gotta hop on to another stream. Keep doing what you do, and thanks for being a fab YouTuber. Oh no. I was gonna say, tell me I didn't just leave that man alive. Who do I got left? How much health has he got? Oh, he's full health. We good. We good. And those fall short. Of course. Of course they do. It's the kill shot. I'm not allowed to kill things. I'm not going to point out the fact that I got 104,000 damage right now in this fucking match. I won't point that out. <laughs> 104,000 damage done in this match. I think I'll be top of that team. Yeah. 1,500 base. Damn. Damn. All right. Not bad. On to the next one. Yo, cutting the caboose coming in with a 50-pound bomb. You guys are out here throwing haymakers this morning. Good Lord. Gotta hop onto another stream. Keep doing what you do, and thanks for being a fab YouTuber. Thank you so much, cutting the caboose. Appreciate you, man. Wow. Y'all are just too generous. Thank you. For real. You guys are really ending the month on a, a banger today, man. Absolutely killing it. Minikaze Marblehead Congo. Well, that should be fun. Okay, so this is this one. So they tend to spawn right on the other side of that island. So I'm going to go left this time and try to 
cut them off. Dude, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, y'all are actually killing it. I was not expecting this. But thank you guys so much. Yo, DJ, how's it going, man? Appreciate you dropping in. American Made in the chat. What up, man? Spotted Gecko dropping by, too. What up, Spotted? Long time no see. Hope you're having a great weekend as well. Oh, Marblehead. Wait for it. <laughs> how is he alive how are you gonna give him the lit how is he gonna live that can't believe we just let him survive i mean i can totally believe it. it's my thing it's what i do there's nobody that can leave people alive as easily as i do come on omaha use ap buddy you're allowed Omaha, that has great AP. Also, hello, Minokazi. Nice. I hope he doesn't beach. Okay, there we go. Boom! Tuck it in! Oklahoma, tuck it in! Thank you! Congo, that was not very nice. We didn't get a very good salvo out of it either. Why are you smoking up, Farragut? Like, for real? Maybe smoking for the cruiser? Let me go punch this guy in the mouth. What up, Scallywag? Our team has taken the lead. Let auto aim guide my shells. That was awful. Is he gonna get forward again? Well, there goes our Omaha. So I guess he wasn't smoking for him, huh? Just stay alive, dude. I'll go deal with this guy. Not scared of a Congo. You just run away. Trooper, trooper, trooper. Hopefully he's not in range to spot our DD. He's not firing, so I'm going to take that as a he's not. Oh, never mind. Secondaries are going off. Hello, sunshine. Hold these. Wow, that was awful dispersion. That was actually terrible. Get turned in. Keep him from citadeling us. He can go straight through our bow if he wants. Destroyed. 
All right, so the Japanese battleship. Ouch! That was not very nice, sir. Our victory is in sight. Yeah, there's the. What I was about to say is the Japanese battleships have a little bulge, a little bulge in the citadel at the back of the ship under the rear turrets. So if you're ever getting a chance to shoot those early Japanese battleships, you want to hit towards the rear of the ship to get those easy citadels. Um, I'll show you that real quick. So uh, where are you at? Congo. See what I mean? The, the little bulge. So that's where I that's where I like to shoot them, and that's actually accessible because of the weak side plating of this these ships. When they over angle, like getting penetrations in through anywhere in the center of the ship, through the the side plating. Because they don't really have very good side plating. Like you can go through it at pretty, it's pretty flat. So you can go through it at pretty easy angles. Allowing very easy access to that bulge. And absolutely wreck them. Gotta remember, early, early uh, Japanese battleships were actually battle cruisers. So they were built for speed, not so much survivability. So... Yo, American made re-upping for 14 months, my dude. Thank you so much. Also, I think... Uh, no, I think that was it. Okay. Thank you. Everyone was setting off your TV, but the controller was dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, I was watching. I tuned in a couple different times, and I even kind of watched back to try to see, like, if... Um, if there was any funny moments leading up to it, because I would have totally clipped it. <laughs> if he has the, I don't even know if you can clip on his channel yet. I forget if it's like one of those features you unlock later after you've uh, grown a little bit. Who are we up against? We got a Marblehead, Kamikazes. Kamikazes terrifying. Marblehead, not scary, but Kamikaze is actually terrifying. Spartan stream and a bowl of cereal. Appreciate that, Scally. Glad you enjoy it. Nicholas coming in with a $20 bomb. Thank you so much, Nicholas. Now, is it Kai Kindle? So, Nicholas Kai Kindle? You'll have to let me know. That's an interesting last name. Let's see if I pronounced it correctly. Probably not. I murder things. Ooh. Ooh, we haven't started singing this morning. You guys know I like to sing while I'm playing. Let's see if we can get a shot worthy of singing something. Go ahead and put up our little spotter play. Oh, hell no. Well, we got 1,100 off of them. Could have done better. Okay, we've got Connick coming in to the right. Shit. Now the marble head's there. All right, we're going to have to tank the shot from the Connick and then turn out and hit this marble head. The ship is on fire. My shell's missed. Okay. Let's get rid of this battleship. And then, uh, we'll, we'll deal with the other two. Marblehead, I will deal with you in a minute. Be patient. Got me double fired again. Those torps look good. He lives. Shh. 
shit. Fuck! I knew it! That's why I was trying to get behind this island. Damn it, man! Why did our kamikaze YOLO and die? Fuck! That's frustrating. Come on, cruiser. There's no reason that fucking battleship should still be alive. I mean, he took two torpedoes. I hit him right before the torps got there. Left him on nothing. If this, cor if this Konigsberg had shot him one time, he dies. And if the Konigsberg would load AP on the broadside of this fucking marblehead, he'd easily kill it. Like, it's got great AP. But he's gonna pull out broadside on in front of this battleship and get blacked. And we're about to lose. Here it comes. Look at this. If he shot this guy one time. <laughs> Still can't kill him. There goes half his hit points. Come on, dude. Learn to use fucking AP, Cruiser. Seriously. If you got broadside targets, load AP. Quit being so scared. AP is very good on Cruisers. You gotta learn to use it. This guy could easily c carry this. The Konigsberg's good enough to carry this shit. Like, the kamikaze versus this thing, it's got this, the extended range sonar, so he'd be able to do his thing. But he's playing way too passively. That's why he freaking didn't get rid of that marble head early. I should have went for the marble head, I guess. I should have just sold out. But I didn't want to be sitting there broadside to a battleship the entire time. That doesn't seem like a very good way to play. I'm kind of interested to see how this guy ends up. Again, he's broadside. Use armor piercing. For real. The hell is he shooting at? Wasn't even close. This kamikaze could actually just YOLO rush him and kill him. But this thing could also death strike that kamikaze. I would torp if I was him. Yeah, there's the torps. And then fuck... Uh, he was way off. Come on, dude. Fire the guns! You're allowed to use your fucking guns, dude! Oh my lord. How are people this fucking clueless? He doesn't use AP. He gets a perfect broadside look. He didn't lead his torps at all. I don't know why he thought that that's where the guy was going to be. But he didn't lead his torps. And then he doesn't even shoot his guns while the fucking guy's just sitting there waiting for it. He's inside range for sonar, so if this guy has his sonar running, he's not going to disappear. But he doesn't have a sonar running. And again, we have Marblehead. If Marblehead shoots AP, this guy's dead. Wow. This guy's gotta be gray. He has no idea what he's doing. Can't even hit a fucking cruiser at seven kilometers. Oof. Oof, guys. I knew the kamikaze was going to be, a, and I don't get top of the fucking team. How do I not get top of the team? Like, this guy didn't do a shit. He did not do shit. Oh, well. Ah, it's just frustrating. Like, I knew that the kamikaze was going to be an issue. But I thought by going at the Konig, I could get behind the island and not get torped. But the problem with the kamikaze is it's so fucking easy to conceal. Like, the guy just... You can't see him. And he's able to sit out there and torp me at an angle that I didn't think he was able to torp at. I thought if I used the island, I'd get past it. But that's the way it goes. What up, Phil? How's it going? Old Norse in the chat, what up? Oh, he's definitely a noob. Like, I didn't look. I didn't pay attention, but he's definitely a noob. Uh, that was blatantly obvious by the fact that he only shot HE, even though he had several opportunities to shoot broadside targets. 
And then he he torped the fucking island on a destroyer that's going full throttle trying to YOLO torp him. He torps the island instead of torping ahead where the guy's going to be. You have to lead targets, guys. You can't torp where somebody is. You got to torp where they're going. Just like you got to shoot where they're going rather than shoot at them. Of course, at these ranges, generally, you just shoot right at them. Because the shells are faster than torpedoes. Okay, Britannia's over there. Britannia's actually a pretty good ship, too. So I gotta be careful there. It's surprisingly tanky. Alright, we've got uh, pirates. Spelled wrong. I took half his health. You're allowed to shoot him too, cruiser. It's kind of what you do. I don't know why they're not shooting this guy. I think he's dead here. That's all? Four hits for nothing? We got a heavy cruiser on our team. I don't know why he wasn't shooting that guy. Hello, Emil. How are you? I get seven overpins. Seven overpins on an angled cruiser. Now oh, he torped the cruiser. He missed. Man, these guys are real good at torping, aren't they? Seven more overpins. I'm glad that that's a thing. Just no armor is best armor, guys. Just sit there broadside to a battleship at point blank. You'll be fine. Ouch. Yeah, that's the overmatch that I was talking about. It hurts. It's all right, because I'm about to get a really nasty salvo on him, too. That's that French accuracy I like to see. Trigger the heal. Start our turn. Foul side plating. Destroyed a turret. Left him alive because that's what we do. I think he's going to torp him before I get my guns loaded. You're giving him the Citadel, right? Right there, you're giving him the Citadel. Okay, game. Okay. You do you, game. Still didn't get top. This guy gets credit for killing everybody, but he didn't do shit for damage. He literally did nothing for damage, but because he kills them, he gets the top of the leaderboard. He didn't damage, or he did nothing to the damage of the, uh, the destroyer. Did nothing to damage the fucking cruiser. Did nothing to damage the battleship. But he gets top of the team simply because he got the kills. Balance. <laughs> you 
Yeah, Jake, you got you got to write out. Yeah, you got to have to protect your liver, my dude. We have a condition called fatty liver that runs in our family. Um, and it isn't even due to alcohol. It's mainly due to being overweight. But uh, my dad had fatty liver that has turned into uh, cirrhosis of the liver, which is scarring on the liver. And uh, it's led to a lot of health problems. So highly recommend taking care of your liver, folks. For real. You don't want that stuff to go bad. Your liver has a lot of bodily functions that it is responsible for. And it's very, very hard to get uh, to get a liver transplant. Julio, Oklahoma, Nevada. You know what? I'm going to mix it up this time. I'm going to go to the inside. I'm going to take and throw my guns to the left. Because everybody likes to go out there, and I do too. But... If I can come to this side and get some crossfires, you need. I'm at the front. What do you mean you need my support? You got two. You got a buddy right next to you. You guys support each other, and then I will fucking do my thing. I'm gonna try to get the crossfire. Of course, I put up my spotter plane at the same time. Dude puts up his catapult fire. Shit, and all of them are coming my way. Go figure. Go fucking figure. Okay. So we're going to have to play this one kind of smart, since they're all going to be coming at us basically bow in. Returning to ship. Of course, we were the one spotting the Nevada. Didn't get a citadel. The ship is on fire. Problem solved, sir. Damn, man. This fucking Nevada's tearing my ass up. Not to mention setting fires. Are you seriously trying to ram me right now after you just citadel the shit out of me? And where are my teammates? We need your support. Fucking useless, dude. They're stupid. They're so fucking stupid and useless. You can't make it up. Why would they keep pushing if these guys are pushing around? Why Why are you doing that? And of course, they're firing HE out of a fucking American battleship. And of course, he shoots the guy that's dying instead of the guy that's right fucking next to him. And now he's going to die and we're going to lose this fucking match. All because these two jackasses decide to sail all the way around the edge instead of trying to help me. We need your support! Yeah, clearly. Always the best. Oof. That was rough. Not gonna lie, it's kind of making me want to switch over from uh, my William Sims to my fucking other commander that has five heals. Uh, Willis Lee. I might do that. I might do it. Nevada's the same thing as the Oklahoma. Let's try it on Nevada first. Let's go Willis Lee. Now, if you guys don't remember, 
on Willis Lee, we have uh, this guy, Justinian Lyons. So as we're, uh, as we're repairing, as we're healing, we're going to be able to set a lot more fires with our secondary. So keep an eye out on how many fires we set in this, this upcoming match. Let's do it. Um, yeah, you're probably right. Let's go ahead and do Brawler. We don't need the extra range here. That's also going to reduce our reload time. Might as well go with this as well. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Shine. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And uh, hopefully you uh, have a real good one. Black Priest jumping in with the 10 euros. Frustration compensation helps to enlighten the day against bad teams. I mean, for sure. And we're off to a beast of a, of a day in terms of donos. I don't like to, I'm not bragging or anything, but you guys have been absolutely ridiculous. With that dono right there, we're at $301 earned in this stream. Y'all are crazy. Thank you so much. You guys are nuts. All right, so the good news is we sh we're going to be up close and personal, so we shouldn't have too much trouble in terms of uh, that. Also, I just realized that my face cam is literally helps right to in the middle the day against of the, uh, teams. Winking face. the watermark, which is kind of funny. So uh, I just clicked the wrong button. Let's see if we can't move that over just a little bit. There we go. Just to get my face out of the logo. Make it a little bit less weird. Nah, there's there's no chance we hit a thousand. You guys have been incredibly generous already. Like there's no no way. Thank you. That was really uneventful. Sounds like a challenge. Nah, like, for real. You guys have already been incredibly generous. Hello, furry taco. Goodbye, furry taco. Never mind. I have to leave you alive. It's in the rule book. If I was a dispersion build, he dies right there. Just say it. Secondary kill. No, the Iron Duke stole it. Hello, New York. Oh! Live from New York. It's Saturday morning. Let's go. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Hey, uh, Koenig. You have a feeling that your entire team just disintegrated out from underneath you? I've been there, man. I really have. Feels rough. Also, I can overmatch your bow if I aim high. If I'm allowed to hit you, that is. I'm sorry. Like, I forgot that that was part of the equation. Let's go ahead and use one of our five heals. Just so that we can say we did it for a reason. Wrong stream, but he gone. He definitely gone. 
I kind of feel bad about this guy. I kind of want to just, like, sit here and let him do some things. Nah, where's the fun in that? Main turret critically damaged. What is our secondary range? I feel like we should be at 4 7. There we go. That's the overmatch I was telling you about. We know he's got an icebreaker, so we just aim high. And we hit that. Double fired me with your secondaries. What a dick. I'm supposed to be the one with the fires. But I ain't got in range to shoot you because you're faster in reverse than I am going forward. Go ahead and pop our uh, fourth heal. Or, I guess it'd be our second heal. Alright, let's overmatch him again. I think he's given up. Get him, secondaries! That torp looks like it's tracking pretty well. Bonk. What up, Marble? Doug, how's it going? Shifted? Mr. Simple? Adam? Listed? Appreciate everybody dropping in for a little bit of a, a Navy squad as well. DJ, I see you in here. Thank you guys so much. You guys are fantastic. I'm glad everybody's jumping in and having a good time. Another 80k plus game. We broke 100k earlier in a match. That was a pretty, pretty nasty match. You're goofing off at work? What up, Wolf? How's it going? Oh, Adam, I've been there, dude. Uh, I left work early uh, on Wednesday morning, or it would have been Thursday morning, because I wasn't feeling very good. It's not that I was sick, but I had a, had a woozy stomach. I spent all morning in the bathroom, and then I went to bed finally around 2 p.m., and I got a phone call at 3 p.m. to come back into work early. So I went to work and worked as long as I could uh, Thursday night, which would have been Friday morning, on 57 minutes of sleep. I was freaking exhausted. Okay, so they usually pop up over there and right there. So let's get the guns to the left. Ozzy coming in with the black... Uh, VMX. Aussie Brad VMX. I, I don't know why. I was thinking that was WRX. I'm not going to lie. Got me all excited. But $15 Australian bomb coming in. Thank you so much, my dude. Also, I didn't realize we, f we forgot to switch uh, over back to our Oklahoma. But we'll take the Nevada. It seems to be doing okay so far. You had zero sleep? I, I, I'm right there with you, man. Um, I actually got a decent sleep last night. Owie. Hey. Chill. Hello, Farragut. It's a good start. Our Farragut should easily be able to mop the floor with him now. Go ahead and turn in to dodge any potential torpedoes. He's dead. I need to turn back, but I'm so afraid that he got torpedoes off. Aaron coming in for another $5 dono. Here's money for therapy, happen, having to pay, play with Peek in his forehead. Well, that's the good thing about playing with Peek. I don't have to see his forehead. Remember the bulge, guys? Oh, we didn't get it? Ouch. Don't worry. We'll get closer. 
Medal of Honor Riddick. I'm assuming that's Medal of Honor. It's the only MOH I know. But thank you so much, Aaron, for your five dollars. Hey, we got in there to get that assist cap. Ouch! Oklahoma, why you do me dirty, man? Calm down. Congo? Ooh, he's angled. Let's go. Oh my god, that dispersion will make you cry. What was that? Oh, he just ate all the torpedoes. Rip the Oklahoma. Potential double strike opportunity coming up here. Potential for me to get killed, too. God dang it. Broke my fucking gun. So much for the double strike. Dude, we're just not allowed to hit where we're aiming. That's the downside of this build, man. Just straight up. Just straight up, not allowed to hit where we're aiming. Like, I know where I need to hit, but it ain't hitting it. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to dispersion here. Now, they should be able to finish the other guy off. But, yeah, we're, we're, I think we're going back to dispersion. Not being able to target those spots is, is infuriating. Let's go back to Oklahoma. Yeah, I imagine, man. I imagine. I couldn't imagine being a mortician, man. I'm not going to lie. I hate going to cemeteries, let alone being a, mor a mortician. You know? Like, I, I, it's a special job that not a lot of people have the, the capacity to perform. So, uh, thank you for your service. What up, Reflexian? How's it going? Farragut, Peter Veliki, and a New York. Now, remember, the Peter Veliki is the only thing at Tier 4 that we cannot overmatch, even though uh, Kavor makes a case because of how narrow the area that you have to shoot is. We found that out the hard way earlier, unfortunately. I wouldn't recommend Congo in Ranked. I mean, it's got good maneuver or good mobility, but honestly, Congo... With that bubble citadel at the back, it's just a liability. Farragut, Peter Veliki, New York. Farragut's got me spotted. Grab the base. I need help. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Yeah, the Oklahoma does look a lot like the Arizona. It actually has two of the Arizona's guns, the same turrets that the Arizona has. Uh, New York. Uh, I need to tell you how bad of an idea that is. Let me uh, just reiterate it for you. I say as, like, literally all my shells spread out and don't actually hit where I need them to. Okay, Peter Veliki's on the back side of the island, so I don't have to worry about that. Vladimir Saban 84, huh? Interesting. Come on, New York. Fire your guns at somebody. Oh, hello, Mr... Man, that guy's moving pretty fucking quick. I didn't lead him enough. I didn't think I'd have to lead him that much at this range, but clearly I was wrong. 
Clearly, I was mistaken. At least the battleship over there is helping. Our guy's smoking up. God dang it, dude. Well, you did lose most of your hit points, so can't really blame you. Dude, if I get one decent salvo here, this New York's a dead man. One decent salvo. It's not giving it to me. Like, I know how to hit a citadel. We already demonstrated. I know he's angled slightly, but I should be able to go through that bow side plating and citadel the crap out of him. Nice. Much obliged. Nice work. Do these have range? No. Good. I guess that answers that question. Thank you. All right, we're gonna go for mid belt then. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you fucking kidding me? How do those all fall short? I'm going to try to take out this New York without being shot by the Peter Veliki if I can. That'd be preferable. Dude, this guy has the RNG of the gods on his side. For real. The fact that this man isn't getting absolutely death struck right now, being this broadside for this long, and then he gets every shell to hit me. Speaking of dev strikes and broadside targets, like... Hello, Peter Veliki. Dude, why does that feel like I'm using a fucking tank build? Where is my dispersion? For real. Like, this man should be dead. This is a full dispersion build on this thing, right? This is the Oklahoma. This is dispersion build. Ouch. And he destroyed one of my fucking guns. Look at that! WHERE ARE THE FUCKING SHELLS GOING?! HIT THE FUCKING TARGET, YOU SON OF A BITCH! FOR FUCK'S SAKE! I'M DEAD. IT'S FUCKING UNFATHOMABLE! HOW A GUY- TWO FUCKING SHIPS! TWO BROADSIDE FUCKING OPPORTUNITIES AT POINT FUCKING BLANK! EVERY ONE OF MY SHELLS FALLING SHORT! WHEN ARE YOU GONNA FUCKING GET OFF YOUR ASS AND FIX IT, WARGAMING? On PC and console. It's fucking stupid that that happens. Shouldn't happen. It's fucking stupid, man. Both those guys should have been fucking dev struck in this match. Both of them are fucking idiots for sitting broadside to me. But the game rewards bad players. It's like, oh no, we can't let you kill him. That would be crazy talk. Why would we be able to kill a fucking broadside battleship at point fucking blank? We're not even going to let you hit them. We know you know what you're doing, but fuck you. That's what you're saying. It's exactly what you're saying. Fuck you, Wargaming. Seriously. Fix your bullshit. Played this horse shit long enough. You need to fucking fix it. God, that shit pisses me the fuck off. Broadside fucking battleships at five kilometers or less. And can't fucking hit them. The game knows. It's like, no, these guys are bad players. We're not going to allow you to fucking do what you should be able to do. No, not happening. We gotta protect them. Otherwise, they'll just stop playing the game. Because they don't know what they're doing. Well done, Wargaming. Keep protecting bad players. Fucking stupid. God knows they fucking sit it all the shit out of me. They hit me with every fucking shell. But damn, if I don't get the same fucking treatment. I shoot at a broadside fucking New York. Nothing. All my shells start dropping short. Broadside Peter Veliki, one Citadel. All my shells start falling short. Perfect. Perfect. You shot too low at the Peter. There's a joke in there somewhere, but I think I'll leave it. On to the next one.
our Farragut's trying to get himself killed as quickly as possible by taking on the fucking Konigsberg and the battleship. And he succeeded. Four fucking overpins. Uh, I just love the fact that this game protects so many bad fucking players. Just fucking sail broadside your fucking cruiser. Sail broadside your battleships. Just keep getting away with everything. No? Yeah, dude, I totally want you to shoot the fucking battleship. Change fucking auto- Oh my god. I hate this game. This game is so stupid. Secondaries? Hello? Do I have secondaries? More overpins! I hate this game, dude. For reals. Fucking for reals. It's just this is this is everything that's wrong with this game. Basic fucking features of the game that don't fucking work. Just blatantly don't fucking work. Then you get fucking stupid shit like just com constantly fucking overpinning shit that shouldn't be getting fucking killed or should be getting killed. Look at that. Just five more overpins. Working as intended wargaming. Good news is Nevada died. Bad news is this guy's about to get his fucking torpedoes back and nuke me. Because balance. More overpins! Woo! Thank God for fucking overpins, Wargaming. It's so good. It's so good. You don't have to do anything. Just sit there broadside. Beat yourself broadside in front of a battleship. Just keep fucking reloading your bullshit fucking torpedoes. Why not? Fuck off. Jesus. God, these fucking bullshit. Just bullshit. Back to back bullshit. Stupid fucking teammates that decide to throw their ship away. Fucking battleship. At least the cruiser got a kill on the battleship. I'll give him credit. Fucking destroyer was an idiot. And then fucking... The previous game with the broadside targets is not allowed to do any damage. Broadside fucking Konigsberg can't fucking Citadel him because why would you be able to Citadel a cruiser? Only cruiser that you can Citadel a tier 4 is a fucking Omaha and a Marblehead. That's it. Everybody else, they don't have Citadels, apparently. Oof. Fucking stupid. Dude, my secondary's never even fired. The guy's literally driving past my ship with the secondary booster active with set priority, even though you saw that it wouldn't let me set priority for like 30 fucking seconds. But once he came around, I had him set as priority, and it, it still wouldn't fucking do anything. I just let him fucking get away with it. They never fired at him. It's stupid. The game is stupid, man. There's so many broken things wrong with the game. But don't worry, guys. There'll be a new fucking skin, reskinned fucking Tech 3 ship coming out next month. Or probably in a couple weeks. What am I talking about? I'm sure there'll be a new fucking reskin bullshit. Why don't we get another... Let's get another Fuso, guys. We've got four of them in the game. Let's get another one. the shit that fucking World of Tanks pissed me off with. Constantly just dropping new reskins of old tanks. And then charging everybody 50 bucks for them. Enemy force sighted on the horizon.
Yo, Let's attempt Jane to bring a salt meter down bomb. one shaker. Let's Let's Magic school bus collab coming soon. Down. One shaker. School bus collab coming soon. <laughs> right? Ugh. Friggin' gets on my nerves, man. Just basic fucking game mechanics that just blatantly don't work, but it's okay, because it's wargaming. It's not a bug, it's a feature. It's what they intend. This guy is gonna sail out in the Nikolai broadside onto two fucking battleships. How's this gonna work out for him? Let's find out! On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, he turned in. He fired at the other guy. Next shot will be for the Congo. We should be able to dev strike him here. Well, he's turning away, so maybe I won't dev strike him. Ah, he's turning back in. Kind of. Got one. Hey, our Nikolai died. Who could have seen that coming? Am I right? Dude, this guy's gonna blap the shit out of me here. Ah, I should have gotten the dev strike, but I'm not allowed. Where's my other battleship? How much health do you got? He's losing all of his L2. Fan friggin' tastic. <laughs> Completely misses him. Guys have health. Requesting support. Maybe don't just sit broadside to him. You know, that is an option. You are the last hope. You are the last hope. All right, we need this guy to play like an idiot. We've got the points lead. Oh shit, didn't expect him to come out that side, not gonna lie. Owie. I gotta get this kill or I fucking lose. Motherfucker. I just lost. I just lost right there. Fuck! Ugh! Why do the game have to fuck me every time? 113,000 damage we lose. Killed two out of three. Need to kill all three. Need to do 200,000 damage in a 3v3 to fucking have a chance. Just have to. Fuck me, dude. I did 1,400 base XP in a fucking loss in a 3v3.
Give me a fucking break already. Like, I knew what was going to happen. I knew it before it even happened. I'm like, if I use my fucking rear turrets to, to get this kill, if I don't kill him, I'm dead. I knew it. And of course, leave him alive. Why wouldn't I? Every time. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Yo, Clint, hello from South Africa. Well, hello from Ohio, my dude. Yeah, there's all the potatoes, guys. All of them. And they all end up on my teams. I don't know. We get quite a few potatoes on the enemy teams, too. But Oh, dear Lord. It does get frustrating, man, because, like, I saw it coming. And we, we had the win. We citadeled the fuck out of him with the front guns. I should have just stayed bow in. But the problem staying bow in there is he's got a full broadside he's going to hit me with. If he gets a good salvo, he could easily do 13K through my bow. We've already shown. We've, we've hit people for 17,000 through the bow. So there's no guarantee that I survive staying bow in there. That's why I went for the rear guns. And I know that I'm dead if I go for the rear guns and don't kill him. But it's just what you got to do, man. It's all down to RNG in the end. All down to RNG at the end. What up, Philip from Sweden? Appreciate you. Hello from Ohio. What up, Die Bob? How's it going? Rigos as well from Germany. And see, this is what I love about you guys, man. You guys are from all over the world. I love it. Fucking love it. Okay, so we got Yahagi. Yahagi's basically a fucking destroyer, but it's a cruiser. And it has smoke at tier 4, if I remember correctly. New York, Peter Veliki. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting him to yellow. Not gonna lie. Let's overpin him, shall we? Bonk! Five overpins! All five shells hit. All five shells fucking overpin. I anticipated the torpedoes well. But we take one anyway. Motherfucker. Oh, and he gets more torpedoes. That's even better. Well, we just fucking flooded out. God dang it, dude. Keep balancing the game, Wargaming. You're doing a great fucking job of it. Doing a fucking fantastic job of balancing the game. Look, I can't even get my guns around. He's so fast. Literally can't even get my guns around to shoot this man. Got a clear shot. All my shells hit the fucking island. Come on, stay alive, baby. We can will to rebuild cheese this shit. There we go. Get will to rebuild doing its thing. We've got two heals left. Fucking horseshit, dude. Hit all five shells from the front gun, do no damage, dude. Just walks in and fucking torps the piss out of me. Nothing I can fucking do about it. So fucking balanced. Alright. This guy lost just as much health as we did. Shit. And then what does our Konigsberg do? Absolutely nothing. Dude literally does nothing. My teammates running away. He's going to get out of my fucking will to rebuild because he's just running for the fucking hills for whatever reason. Oh my god. Why do people have to be so fucking stupid? Dude, where are you going? 
I don't know if you noticed, but there's two of them and only one of me. We kind of need each other. You need me, I need you. That's how this works. It's a fucking partnership. You're gonna end up fucking dying because of this horseshit. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Turn out, please. Game! Why are you fucking me right now? Hit the fucking ship! Ooh, one shell. He's just beached broadside. Just one fucking shell, though. Fuck me, dude. This game can kiss my ass. Should have been a dev strike on that fucker. But no, he's got to survive. And now I'm broadside to the fucking New York. He's turning in. He's raising the citadel. Am I going to get a citadel? Probably not. Nope. Hit him with three fucking shells. Well done. Ugh. I can't overmatch the bow of a Peter Veliki, so if he stays bow in, I'm not going to be able to kill him. I need this guy to shoot at my fucking belt. There you go. Shoot at the turret, shoot at the belt. That guy's not giving me the angle. Go through the fucking front. One shit. One, one fucking shell. It's a dispersion build at six kilometers. I should be able to hit more than one fucking shell. Ah, oh, I love this game. Three shells. We got three shells to hit the target that time. Out of a full fucking broadside. Ten guns. Ten fucking gun broadside. Three shells hit a target at three fucking kilometers. There's nothing wrong with this game. Nothing wrong with this game at all. Just a bunch of fucking idiotic teammates that do nothing. And then I get fucked every chance I take a shot. Every time. Pfft. Ain't nobody gonna stop playing the game. If you could get if you could get together a large scale boycott, you can get Wargaming to listen. Like 100%. But the problem is, you gotta get that together. And unless it's something really egregious... You're not going to get the fucking people to do the, the large-scale boycott to threaten them. Trust me. Been through it. We did it on World of Tanks console. But you have to get everybody together. You can't just fucking say, oh yeah, I'm going to take a month off because one person, 10 people, 20 people, not going to cut it. You got to hit, hit them where it hurts. You got to go wide scale and threaten them. Otherwise, they just don't give a fuck. Like, they're, they're a multi-billion dollar company. They literally could give two shits about a handful of people deciding that they want to leave. Like, it's not going to affect them at all. Morning from Massachusetts. Morning from Ohio, my dude. I know. I, it, that's the thing, though. I could, I could easily just jump in a fucking kamikaze or a farragut and carry the shit out of this fucking game. But... I like playing battleships. I like the challenge of playing the battleships in this shit. It's a lot harder to fucking carry because you're, you're visible. It just means it's that much more, like, fun when it actually happens. Enemy 
That's how you don't carry in a kamikaze. Down goes our Minakazi. Did he get Torps off on the Kavor? I mean, he got one. There you go. Somebody that actually knows how to fucking use armor piercing in his cruiser. Holy shit. Okay, we know torpedoes are coming. He's probably launched by now, so I'm going to cut in. Look at the fucking AP damage this guy's getting on even a broadside battleship. This is why I say people need to fucking learn to use it. Learn to use your fucking AP. We're gonna take a hit here. But it's nothing we can't handle. And we should be able to deliver an absolute bomb. Now we'll just go bow in. See that fucking Konigsberg? Good player. Knows what he's fucking doing. Almost done, boys. Three more wins. That's all we need. Three wins. But, yeah. So, Konigsberg blue. Knows what he's doing. I forget what all the win rate, win rate stuff is. So, gold is... 56% win rate. The blue is 48. So he's not even that good of a player, but he already understands the basics of, hey, there's a broadside cruiser. I can use AP and sit it on the fuck out of him. You know? So it's good. This guy has an orange. So that's what? 58% win rate. So a solid player. On to the next one. Let's go. What up, Vlad? Long time no see, bud. Zach Britt as well. Appreciate you dropping in. Fucking bot. Get the fuck out of here. Go away, bot. All right. What we got? Omaha. It's an easy one. Koenig and a Britannia. Let's do it. Let's do it. What up, Wicket? How's it going? Todd Infinite. I'm not sure if I said hi to you guys, but hello. Action stations. What we got? Uh, is there anybody I'm missing? Thomas? I don't remember if I said hi to you, but hello. James McCarthy? Appreciate you. Toad? I try to make sure... Uh, Alessandro? Did I just see that right? Yeah, Alessandro? Thank you for dropping in. I know I didn't say your name. I try to... Whenever I see people's names, and I don't think I've said them, I try to make sure that I give you guys a shout-out. So I do appreciate everybody dropping in. Aaron, I think you know the answer to that. It's called the bro zone. <laughs> Too far, I know. Okay, where's this Omaha? I know who I want to shoot. Ooh, those are rail guns. That's gonna hurt. Or not? Hello? 
Thought that would hurt a lot more than that. That was a good shot. Nice shot. Oklahoma, baby. Boomer sooner. Oh. Dude, Oklahoma, or the Omaha is back there going, fuck you guys. I don't want to play this shit. All right. I'll help you out of it. Dude, that was terrible dispersion. That was terrible dispersion. He's like, damn, I can't even just sit here. They still got to shoot me? Fuck you guys. I'm out. Uh, Oklahoma, or Omaha. I hate to tell you this, buddy, but it's not going to work out for you. Next! Off to a great start. Okay, that should be him dead. Nice kill. And then we'll swing wide and get this Britannia. Hopefully get rid of him. Wow! What was that dispersion? You guys see that shit? That was a shotgun. Here, I'll just stay broadside. Go ahead and shoot me, buddy. Shoot me. You've earned it. Watch him dev strike me right here. There you go. There you go. GG. You earned it, pal. You earned it. Look at that AP. You see what I'm saying? Don't sleep on your AP, cruisers. Don't sleep on that AP. If you get broadside targets, you switch to AP and you fuck people up. Battleship, cruiser, doesn't matter. Obviously a destroyer, you better be using HE if you're in a cruiser. Uh, you literally looked like an NPC last night playing uh, Hell Let Loose. Nice. That, when you said, she said I'm cute, literally brought up an old Rodney Dangerfield uh, fucking stand-up when he goes into the strip club and uh, the guy brings out Rosalita. Rosalita said I'm cute. I said, oh, I don't know. Maybe a little cute. She goes, no, you're cute. Bartender, champagne. I love fucking Rodney Dangerfield. He was funny as hell. Gazi in the chat. We got everybody stopping. Tiger's up in here, too. Surprise, Tiger ain't streaming. That man streams like 24-7, I swear to God. What up, Maximus? Kevin? Haley? Full potato jacket. I like it. Okay, Koenig. What we got? Kavor and a Jaguar. Okay, so Kavor, we've learned the hard way that we need to make sure that if we get a Kavor up against us, we gotta try to get its broadside. Because fucking with that thing's bow is a pain in the ass. Even though you overmatch, just the area that you overmatch is so tiny. Good lord, the bots are out in full force, aren't they? Band a bot? That just sounds like its own fucking bot, to be honest. Okay. You guys know the rules. See a destroyer, shoot a destroyer. Fact that that destroyer has 20,000 hit points at this low of a tier. Like, is that what I'm seeing? Like, usually the bars mean 5,000 hit points. So he has four bars. That should be 20,000 hit points. How does he have 20,000 hit points on a tier four destroyer? This doesn't seem right. See, like, he's got two, two bars. That's 10,000 health. Breaks one of my fucking guns. Jaguar disappears. God dang it. That guy's going behind the island. Jaguar circle and back. 
All right, let's see if we can hit that spot. So we're going to aim high. Not aiming like that. I mean, we got a couple hits on it. So we've got these guys in a crossfire, so that's at least good. So somebody's going to have his broadside. If he bow tanks me, the other guy gets to blast him. You're pretty narcissistic. No, Aaron, you're not narcissistic. You're the most modest person I know. So humble. That's what I always say. That's what I always hear about you, man. You're so humble. Bonk. Bonk. I know I'm broadside to the battleship right now, but I'm assuming there are torpedoes. Maybe he didn't get them off. Okay. Owie. Spartan hears us in his mind. <laughs> What's up, Paladin? Appreciate you dropping in, man. What up, Haley? Ooh, those are tight. Didn't get much out of them, but they were tight. I think I hit his gun. Are you what is this I hate I hate so much I hate hey a cast gets a fire I, did you guys see that there's literally like two little tiny pebbles that stick up out the water I'm supposed to see that and avoid them right Another one of Wargaming's fabulous game mechanics. Let's make islands that stick out further than they look like they stick out so that we trap players for no reason. Hell with having, like, a good game experience. Why would we want that? We want to fuck with people as much as possible. Like, there's just little, two little pieces of a fucking rock just barely sticking out of the fucking top of the water. And I'm supposed to see that while I'm fighting people. What up, Josh? How's it going? Adam? Battle starts. Yeah, but I like... I like Zarkoon's jokes, man. They may not be the kind that knock you out of your chair, but they definitely do uh, have a certain... tact to them. They're thinking man's jokes, usually. I like that. What up, Simon? How's it going? Darkwing, I see you up in here. What's up from Seattle? What's up from Ohio, my dude? Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, why can't we have that? I agree, Gazi. That would be great. Be able to actually go, hey, I want to shoot this point on the ship and have the shells go towards that spot that you shoot at. Obviously, you'd still have to, like, 
lead the target and shit, but... Oh, we got a hill against us. That's fun. Yes. Hit my armor. Hi, New York. Wow, that wasn't as good as I thought. It's not a bad salvo, but... Ooh, get wrecked! You can't torp me! We got to see that in first person. That was kind of sexy. Not gonna lie. I've never dodged torps in first person before. Returning to ship. Owie. Alright, Koenig. Aim high. I'm worried about this fucking hill. Like, while I'm having to, like, actually fight these battleships, this is when this destroyer becomes a real problem. The ship is on fire. Okay, we're going through the bow side plating here. Okay, let's turn away from him. That'll lower our citadel. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Soon as I turn away, I knew that was going to be a flood, too. Of course it has to be a flood. This guy just shitting out fucking torpedoes left, right, and center. Yeah, I knew I was dead there. I just wanted to get the shot off. But I think I took enough health off of them that these guys should be able to easily kill them. And then they just got the hill to deal with, so hopefully they can finish that. Soon as I turned out, because I I thought I didn't see the torps coming for that guy. If I'd have known that he was going to torp him, I wouldn't have turned out. But as soon as I turned out, I take the one torpedo and it causes a flood. Because all torpedoes do. You're not on only only fans. I'm on only dudes. There you go. Nice work. Uh, also, this could be the last stream that you guys see me with this eye that faces off to the side. Ooh, since we're going to win this one, I'm going to leave. I'm going to start another one because then I can cheese it. Um, quick. Switch this. I get to play an extra battle. <laughs> Technically, we're going to win that match, hopefully, and that'll rank us out, but I'll be in another match, so I get to play an extra one. Yeah, if you guys like what we're doing, punch that like button. 258 of you watching, only 125 likes. If you enjoyed the stream so far, punch that like button. Uh, what class of ship? I'm not sure what you're talking about. I prefer battleships. They're my favorite. The bots are back! Ban him! Somebody drop the hammer. Drop it! Hammer. Hammer. There they go. Man, that took a while. Considering all the mods that we have in chat right now, that took quite a while. Gonna have to uh, start timing you guys. Yeah, the bots don't give up, man. Especially on a popular stream. The sad part is, they wouldn't do it if it didn't get people to actually click on them. So, y'all need to stop clicking on that shit. 
<laughs> what up, Michael? How's it going? If I lose this one before we uh, the other one finishes, yeah, I'm pretty sure that other one's already done, though. Let's be real. Imagine it just kicks me from the game, leaves these two by themselves. That would suck. What up, Ben? He's back! Get him! Enemy force detected. Oh, fuck. Wouldn't suppose I could ease a depth strike out of this, huh? Oh, he's turning away. That's good. Ah! Oh, so close! Get him, secondaries! Secondaries are so useless. I swear to God. Okay, we got a New York here. Also a Marblehead. We took everything for that man, but of course, kind of leave him alive. Hey, look, torpedoes. Who could have seen that coming, huh? Not this guy. All right, New York should be about to peek around the corner. Ooh. He's actually not, and we lost our emerald because he just sat broadside. Uh, I think we need to take this a little bit carefully here. I think we need to take this a little careful. I don't want to be the one to go around that corner. We don't need to rush. Nice. Much obliged. Get our guns ready for this fucking marble head in case he decides to keep pushing. He's got smoke because our fucking our cruiser decided to drop smoke for him. It's fantastic. If he fires his guns at me, even if he's in the smoke, he's going to get detected from this range, so. It's just a waiting game. No reason to rush. Battleship still over there. No reason to rush. You, you click on the bot, now it stings when you pee. <laughs> Oh, God. Hello. Oh, my God. Somebody take and put that shit on the calendar. Somebody mark that shit on the calendar. I just shot a broadside Omaha. I know it's a Marblehead, but it's a broadside fucking Omaha class cruiser, and it didn't explode. The man's using hacks. He's using hacks, I swear. We did set a fire, though. So there's that. I think he's going to die from that fire, too. Which is perfect. Air you exhale when you rage is currently on sale. The Jaguar gets the torpedo on the fucking Marblehead. Dude, this guy's getting the cheekiest fucking Marblehead. Like, we've done all the damage so far. That man's gotten the kills. Gotta love it. How you doing, Mr. New York? My name's Spartan. I would like to uh, introduce you to overmatching. Yeah, it, it kind of stings a bit. Retreat now. Don't worry, I got this guy. You don't need to do anything crazy.
No need to rush. <laughs> of course. Of course we do. That motherfucker stole it again! He only shot when the fucking guy was no help. Fuck you, Jaguar! Fuck you! He did it three times! Three times he stole my fucking kill. Damn him! <laughs> Can't believe that shit. I was gonna say, he better not get fucking top with that bullshit. Three separate times he stole my kill. I left the fucking marble head on nothing. I left the destroyer on nothing. And I left the fucking battleship on nothing. They fucking yoinked that shit. He's a fucking classic yoinker. The man never even fired his guns until that guy was low health. That's hilarious. John Reed. That's a crazy name. And I'll explain why here in a minute. Thank you for the $2 dono. Uh, I just ranked out, unfortunately. So that's the end of that. Um, but yeah. Um, so if you, you guys don't know this, but I actually have a cousin or had a cousin whose name was John Reed. Uh, he was an extended cousin. He's part of the extended family. Um, but he was a cousin of mine, grew up, went through school together and, uh, he actually died in a car crash. God, it's been maybe 10 years ago, maybe longer. Um, but yeah, like it's just crazy to see, see the name pop up. I'm like, wow, that's, that's nuts. But uh, thank you so much. Um, I don't even think I have the old hot nick, to be honest. Maybe I do. I don't remember if I bought it or not. Uh, whoops, wrong button. Let me see if I can filter. Ah, we do have it. We got it. All right. I'll play one in this. I'm terrible in this ship, just so you know. Like, don't expect a good game out of it. But I'll, I'll do it. No, it's all good, man. Um, it's just, like I said, when your name popped up, it just kind of kind of caught me off guard. But appreciate the dono, my dude. Yep, we're bringing out the murder sausage. All hail the murder sausage. The most Russian ship I've seen in the game. Like, this is literally, this screams Russia. Thousand foot long, 80 guns, all single turrets, and 70 torpedoes. And only one cruiser. We can't even meme the cruisers. That's not fair. Tier 5 game, too. Ouch. Literally the most Russian ship you're ever going to see. What is our torp range, by the way? Four and a half. All right. Well, I hope there's more that makes your life worth living than just watching my games. But I'm glad I could at least bring some, uh, some enjoyment to you, man. I know how it gets, man. For real. Like, I've been there. Been there, done that. It's no fun. So, it's what I've always said about my channel. I like to try to make people smile. Because I know what it's like. I know I know what it's like to be in a dark place where literally you feel like there's no way out. And, you know, it's, it's no good. So. Yeah, I just stopped there. But yeah, I'm glad I can help. I don't even have fucking perceptive. That's how old of a build this is. It's contested, so this guy should be right here. Oh, shit. Didn't see that coming. Oh, thank God he shot somewhere else. He had AP, or HE loaded, too. Dude could easily dev strike me here. Concentrate fire on the designated target. Roger. Vividive stuff. 
пожарном режиме. Пожарная тревога. Линкор уничтожен. Установка дым. Двигатель выведен из строя. You die too, son of a bitch! <laughs> you die too! You wanna play that game, you die too! He almost got stopped! He almost got stopped! Alright, well, that was the party bus, guys. We got two of them. For every, every sub that Janky has to take a 30-minute nap on stream. Don't worry, I think he's, he's covered... At least for the next month on subs. Dude literally took like a full on sleep. Alright, we're going to play one last game. We're going to jump into Montana just to have a little bit of fun. And then we're going to call it a stream. I appreciate everybody dropping in and having a good time with me. Hopefully you enjoyed. A lot of salt. A lot of good times. Hopefully you got a chuckle. And uh, yeah, I think it's about time for me to head back into Lancaster and uh, go get my eyebrows done. My eyebrows are kind of getting out of hand. And for the guys out there that are going to be like, oh, Barton, you shouldn't get your eyebrows done. Screw you. All right. Girls don't like guys with bushy brows either. Trim that shit. Ask me how I know. Because I don't like guys with bushy eyebrows. <laughs> that just threw everybody out. There's at least 30 unsubs right there. Everybody was like, oh, screw that. Spartan's talking real talk. We out. We out. Uh, my new job is exactly what I had in the old day, or old job. Later, Aaron. Thanks for dropping in, my dude. Uh, I am a forklift driver. TMI, right? I know. But seriously, you guys gotta, you gotta trim your eyebrows, my dudes. Nobody likes a mono brow. Nobody likes bushy brows. Get that shit trimmed. If you don't want to do it yourself, which it's super easy. If you got your own, like, hair clippers... Put like a number two fucking uh, guide on your clippers and just go right straight over that shit. Keep your shit from being a bird nest, man. Nobody likes that. Literally takes like two seconds. Completely, completely changes the way your eyebrows look and it looks much better. And also, get rid of your unibrow. Nobody likes that. Out here teaching folks. Also, love the fact that my Yami is running away. Like, really? Hey, blind squirrel! The nut is this way, man! There's a nut. Fuck it. Ain't worth it. Of course, there's their Yami. We got a DD here. It's a lay fan task. They have a DD in the cap. It's either an Akazuki or a Gearing. And they're conquerors here too. Fun. Go for the superstructure. Look at that dispersion, dude. Hit a gun. Yeah, you gotta you gotta clean your fingernails too. Dude just knocked out eight, eight AA guns by hitting the fucking torpedo belt somehow. I don't know why I just shot at the fucking front of the... What is that? 
Well, we got a couple of hits out of it. And now our lay fantastic dies. Second Yami, a Malfi. There's no way he lobs that island from here. Motherfucker! Not only does he lob it, but he fucking hit my ass. Ooh, I can lob the island? I'll take it. I can lob the island too, bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god, he gets away. I thought I was gonna dev strike him right there with the rear turrets of justice. Dude, I can fucking sit right here. Oh my god, now I'm spotted. The whole point of me, like, sitting here was so that I wasn't spotted. How the fuck am I- He's gotta be, like, over here now. Only way I get spotted here. No, he went behind me. Or those are those could be the fucking uh, Italian cruisers. Concentrate fire on the target. Hmm. This guy started reversing. I might be able to sneak a shot over this island into this man's freaking foul side plating. This could be juicy, boys. This could be real juicy. Landed high! Why did those land so high? I have no idea why those landed so fucking high. Now we gotta shoot high because he's turning away from us, so we're gonna go for that superstructure. Our team's got Charlie, our team's grabbing Bravo, so I don't need to rush or do anything crazy here. Now I need to rush and do something crazy here. The ship is on fire. Take him one, it looks like. Critical engine damage. I need help. Problem solved, sir. God, that was awful dispersion. I don't know what our two battleships in the back are doing. They definitely need to grow a pair. That's better. That last shot was terrible. Don't double fire me. Ouch. Fucking Yami overmatch, man. Hurts. Hurts bad. Hey, boys. You want to fucking get your asses out of the back of the map? I think I'm going to do what I don't normally do, which is fucking load HE here.
Ah, oh, shit. Of all the times to load HE, the fucking Amalfi decides to push. And we just lost the center cap. And they gave the guy a smoke screen. Ah, <sighs> this could be a problem. Spotted by a fucking plane, of course. I don't want to push into two fucking Yamatos and a Conqueror. That doesn't end well for me. This guy just fired with his Yamato, didn't get detected. How? You going inside or outside? Don't run into the island. I love how he just he, he runs into the island right where my shells hit and doesn't take shit for damage. Spotted by a fucking plane. Can't believe that Yami that's here can fucking lob that island. Dude, our team's throwing by just being nothing. Like, they're not doing anything. Their Yami appears to be going around the outside, so... Yeah. Requesting assistance. I... I need some teammates, man. I really do. My Yami being the biggest fucking bitch in the game. Literally just sitting back. He's shooting at this guy over here instead of shooting that guy. Fuck it. Fuck it! We push now, boys! Not gonna sit here and fucking get neutered by two two Yamis. That Yami's bow in. This guy I could potentially catch. Plus, if I move up, this guy... God, I f this is where I need propulsion on, man. Enemy battleship destroyed. Welcome to the shit show, Poppy. You wanna play? Hmm? Get 
the fuck out of here! Montana's the best battleship! Fuck all y'all! You fucking pansy ass blind squirrel! You'll never find a nut if you're not even trying! Jesus. Who the fuck plays a Yami so damn passively? But that's what I'm talking about, about making your fucking enemies make the mistakes. Force them into making mistakes. If you're playing behind the island and they feel like they have to come after you, they make stupid mistakes. The guy on the right was bow tanking me. I can't do anything there. So the guy in front of me that thinks he's behind the island and is untouchable, he's the obvious choice. We can roll around the corner, catch him off guard, delete him, and then the guy on the right suddenly feels like he needs to do something. So then he comes around the corner and tries to challenge the Montana and gets slapped back into fucking his mom's bed too. So like, there's no chance. No chance. You gotta, gotta force the enemy to make mistakes. You can't always be hyper aggressive. Like if we'd have been aggressive, we'd have died. We had the Akazuki over here. We had the Amalfi over here. We had two Yamis and a Conqueror. If you try to rush that, you're dead. No chance. But if you're patient, sometimes it pays off. Don't be as patient as that guy, though. That guy, not good. GG's. And I think that is a fully, fully great way to end the stream. Like, that was that was satisfying. To finally get those, those two Yamis that thought they were going to be good. Eight fucking Citadels. Give it to me, baby. 183,000 damage. Got second on the team. Gross a curve first, holding his own goobage can up there top of the leaderboard. Not bad, guys. Blind Squirrel, where are you at? Oh, you're all the way down here. Imagine that. He did kill the Conqueror, so we'll give him that. But damn. All right, boys. It's been a fun stream. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Again, we're not going to be streaming Legends very often. Special occasions, maybe once a month or something like that. That's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys again for being so incredibly generous for the, the stream today. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.